Kau jadikan aku Kekasih bayangan Untuk menemani Saat kau merasa sepi So if you're looking for a microphone for your podcast, record your next big hit or stream while absolutely destroying people in Valorant, then this could be the microphone for you. So the original Shure MV7 being one of the only dynamic USB microphones on the market has quickly become a lot of content creators go to ever since it came out. So this is the brand new Shure MV7 Plus podcast microphone. I'm going to tell you what's new, what I like about it, what I don't, and whether or not you should spend 1,699 ringgit on this thing. As usual, I do reserve my right to an unbiased opinion, but if you're interested in picking up one of these microphones after watching this video, feel free to use my links in the description to score yourself some exclusive freebies because currently, Shure is celebrating their 99th anniversary. Oh yeah, if you want to try it before you buy it, you can go to the physical locations of these authorized dealers. There are a few upgrades from the MV7 that you can see right away. First off, the pop filter is now taller because size matters. The control panel has a Tom Yum RGB vibe which I like. We finally get Type-C USB, the good type because nobody likes it micro. Oh, and they've added a lot more features to the app. But let's start with what I like first. Firstly is the build quality. The MV7 Plus, just like the MV7, has an all-metal construction including the yoke and has some weight to it. The mesh grille underneath the foam is also pretty rigid with no give. It also sounds pretty darn good. Like I said, this is a dynamic microphone with a cardioid pickup pattern. What that means is that it will pick up less sound from behind the microphone and also outside this immediate proximity in front of it. See? This will suit most content creators better. Why? Because most of you probably don't have an acoustically treated room, so it will pick up less of those unwanted echoes or reflections that are bouncing off your hard surfaces. This will pick up less noise from your PC, your wife blow drying her hair in the next room, or your mother nagging you to get a real job. Aku tahu engkau sebenarnya tahu Tapi kau memilih seolah engkau tak tahu Kau sembunyikan rasa cintaku Di balik topeng persahabatanmu yang palsu Kau jadikan aku Kekasih bayangan Untuk menemani Saat kau merasa sepi Bertahun lamanya Ku jalani kisah Cinta sendiri this taller pop filter actually helps to reduce plosive sounds. However, it really depends on what language or accent you use. For instance, do you tend to enunciate your consonants a little more hardcore like Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Or less so like Bagai Pinang di Beladua. Bagai Pinang di Beladua. It comes with a 3 meter long USB-C cable so you can stay further away from your PC. Because when's the last time you cleaned it? It sounds like a hair dryer. And the real-time denoiser actually sounds better than I expected. So this is with the denoiser off. You can hear my laptop and the room. And this is with the denoiser on. Huge difference, right? However, this sound like the uh, upper mids and the treble is a little bit taken out, so it sounds a little bit more bassy. But still, it sounds pretty good for podcasts or voiceovers. And finally, you do get more features and options when you plug in this new microphone into the Motive Mix app. You get real-time denoiser that we mentioned before, popper stopper that will further help reduce plosive sounds, reverb which is very useful if you're going to be singing with this microphone, high pass filter which is great to roll off a little bit of that low end and options to customize that LED. Based on my speculation, they probably added a more powerful DSP or digital signal processing chip into the new microphone which is required to run some of the more intensive uh, features uh, but with the new firmware updates that I've installed into the older MV7, they've added features like compressor and limiter which is great. 
Now let's talk about what I don't like. I really missed having the ability to control the mic gain or the volume for the headphones from the microphone itself. And while I do appreciate them giving us the option to lock that mute button, um, the better solution in my point of view to prevent accidental muting is to actually have a physical tactile button. Click, click, boom. Gautim lah. Now let's move on to some meh things about this microphone, which are things that annoyed me a little, but not enough to be a deal breaker. The first one is the fact that I've seen some people complain about the shock absorption from this microphone. See, But the problem is that most of those people complaining about that are also people who own an SM7B or SM7DB that they can use to compare this microphone with. But they seem to forget that that microphone costs quite a bit more than this one. Not to be the devil's advocate or anything, but most USB microphones at the same price range are condenser microphones and you don't see yourself going around knocking those around or holding them to sing or anything. And as you can see, when I talk, I do move my hands around a lot like an Italian and I put my hands on the table and stuff like that and it's not picking up that much noise, so yeah. The second meh point about this microphone is that for some annoying reason, that XLR connection uh, with this microphone sounds a little bit ever so slightly better than when you use it with the USB port. Uh, this is annoying because all those fancy DSP features like denoising and all that stuff can only work when you connect the microphone via the USB-C cable. To recap, here are the pros, mehs and cons of the Shure MV7 Plus. I give the Shure MV7 Plus a hashtag cheap buy for podcast, voiceover, and a little bit of singing. 8.5 out of 10. And that is everything I have to say about the Shure MV7 Plus. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to like and share. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions regarding this Shure MV7 Plus. And I'll try my best to reply to you guys. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell harder than you hit the gym. And don't forget to follow us on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram to see more shenanigans from the Mob House crew. Again, my name is Bang Sawan Shane. And I will see you in the next one.